Hello and welcome to the Property Talk. While we were at the Homes and Property Expo 2018, I, again, I interacted with uh, a brand called uh, Kambati Impex. Andrew, it's good to have you on the show today. Thank you so much, Adrian. During this festive season, uh, imagine someone is having a property and oftentimes the challenge we have is that I know that your products need to be considered before someone constructs or as they are constructing, right. but oftentimes there's this audience also that have already constructed. Share with us briefly on the innovative solutions that Kambati is actually bringing to the market. We do have products that are actually much more important to be used in our, the areas that we need to do the waterproofing on in our existing structures, be it new or the ones we are going to construct. We do take precautions on the areas that are too sensitive to water. For instance, when it comes to our washrooms, we, ha we ought to do waterproofing, which normally the clients do not take actions into whereby you find in the normal designs of our houses you find where the bathroom is on the either side of the bathroom walls in most cases it is either our bedrooms or the dining rooms then you find after the decorative design which is called skirting we have the issue of the sand and the paint actually peeling off the walls it is due to the moisture that comes from the bathrooms mm. now if it is already an effect in the existing structure what we do we do request the client or the owner of the house to remove the tiles that are in the bathrooms. He does the waterproofing using a product which I do refer to as Zahabia water shield. It's a polymer membrane, though the locals refer to it as a rubber paint, based on its mode of application. So you apply that on the walls, then at the bottom and put back your tiles. Then that product is going to stop the water and the moisture from affecting the either sides of the bathroom walls. So that means at this point in time, you'd rather recommend that somebody considers these products before a structure is in place. Yes, please. because other than the product that I've just mentioned, which is the Habia Water Shield, I do have another product which is called SBR. It's a latex. Now, what it does, for instance, when you are going to this particular festive season, when you need to do a repair in your houses to deal with the issue of dampness, whereby the paint and the plus is peeling off, we do have that product which is called SBR. What we do is a little of that product, we dilute it 20 liters of ordinary water, then we use the solution for mixing a bag of cement, be it Hema, or Kampala cement, plus the three little barrels of sand. Okay. Then we do the actual plastering. Now what the product does in the motor you're using, it does plasticize your motor. So it will stick firm on the walls and it will limit the issue of capillary attraction that causes that moisture that rises up and causes issue of dampness on the walls. Mm. That is one. Then another product I have is called Concrumite Zuba. They shorten it to Zuba. Now, this is actually, it's much ideal for the guys that are maybe doing the constructions in wet areas, close to the swamps. We do recommend the usage of this product when you're doing the casting of the oversight slab. To the viewers, this is actually the first slab that you cast at your site. And what we do, a little of that product, a bag of cement, three wheelbarrows of sand and then appropriate aggregates for the concrete casting. Now what it does, it's going to harden your concrete, it's going to limit still the issue of water and moisture upward movement and it's going to limit the cracking of your structure. Now this product does work for the casting of that oversight concrete, the people that are doing the construction of underground water tanks, septic tanks, the ideal. And then the casting of the last roof slab, for instance somebody is going to have a terrace up that's where the concrete zuba is applicable. Mm. Then another product that I do have still under the range of Zahabia, it's a product which is called soft seal special. In most cases, um, we tend to do it with the cracks that we have in our houses. What to do when you have a crack maybe on the wall or on the ceiling, you simply call on your painter, he comes over, he does the normal filling and he paints over. But the cracks insists and again, it does come back. So what we do, in the usage of Zahabia soft seal special, we try to widen the crack a little bit, apply the sealant, then you can as well do the painting over it. Now that's the advantage, it does accept so what's the, you, the you said it's the sealant? It's a sealant. What is the, what is the filling of cracks. Okay. Yes, on the structures. Then and the cracks won't come back again. Won't. I also do have a product which is called Flemix. Flemix. We have been having issues with the fire outbreaks here and there in the our secondary schools, be it the primary schools. So what we do, we have a product that does actually control, if I may say. 
where do you apply it how do you apply it actually we do apply it in the kitchen area on the wall having done the plastering it's like a paint what color is it it's white again white yes okay, so we we'll 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 apply it on the wall and then you can have your preferable paint on top of it now what happens is in case of a fire outbreak in your house it does form actually some i can put it like uh, a form actually that does form from the wall itself so what it does it can contain fire in the area where it has broken out at for about two hours so at least within the two hours you're able to get help how does it contain the fire the fire burns in one place and it doesn't move or now what happens is for instance at this point x the fire breaks out from here and is the point where we have put the flamex what it does in in the local in the local language by to make actually the viewers get to it it will be forming some kind of water viewers uh, kambati has got very many innovative solutions in as far as uh, damp walls are concerned cracks in the wall peeling off of paint uh, where you look at it we are based on 7th street industrial area industrial area the numbers contacts are on the screen final word to the viewers i would like the viewers out there to pay a visit to kambati impact so that you're able to see because being an african that i am seeing is believing so once you have seen the product you're able to believe in it that it actually does work to all of you thank you for being part of this get onto our facebook page for more details about combati impacts